Hi, welcome to Lesson 37. The last couple of Excel videos we've talked about different ways to filter data in tables and most of the time that works and works great. If you need a filter that's a little more complicated than what I've shown so far, that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. What I've done is I've cleared out some of the colors that we've had before and I've added a couple of rows above our table and copied the list of titles of the columns, these headings up here, so we can play with it a little bit. What I want to do is show you how to do multiple filters on a given table. Let's assume for a minute that you want to see everybody in the state of North Carolina. So you can do equals, quote, equals in C. And you want to see all the patients who are equals, quote, over age 80, like that. You'll notice I'm in the Data tab, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Advanced. And we're going to filter the list in place, rather than put it someplace else. It says, where's your list? So I'm going to come over here and shift in down. And I don't need that bottom totals row. And I'm going to hit Enter. It says, where's your criteria? Well, my criteria is... Uh, from columns A to F and rows 1 with the headings in row 2. I hit enter. I don't want unique records. I want to see all of them today. You click OK and you'll see I've got 27 of my 499 records are patients who are from North Carolina and who are over 80. Now if you wanted to do an OR filter instead of North Carolina and over 80, if you wanted it to look like that, we'll just cut and paste it down there, then we're going to go to Advanced. Say, hey, my criteria doesn't go there anymore. My criteria goes all the way down to row 3. Hit Return. And now what I've got is I've got more records. I've got 168 of them because I'm asking for over 80 or from North Carolina. You can do AND filters really well with the drop-down things we've talked about before. But when you get into OR, this is helpful. If I wanted to see patients who are over 80 and from Atlanta, we do equals, quotes, equals 80. So, quotes. Now notice nothing happens until I go to advanced. And my list range is still the same. My criteria needs to go down to F3, and it does. Click OK. And now I've only got 91, because what I'm getting now is folks that are over 80 and from Atlanta or from North Carolina. So let's look at my list. North Carolina, 88, that's fine. These are all North Carolina ones, so I'm fine. Let's keep scrolling down. Here's an Atlanta person who's over 95, so they're okay. There's an Atlanta person who's 86. Most of these people are from North Carolina. So again, just to be clear, this row is all has to be true, or this row all has to be true, the way I've got my filter set up. So we're going to come over to the e m code, say we want this to equal 992, let's see, 99215, say. I need that equals in there, 99215. Return. Now, again, nothing happens until I go to advanced. And it's not going to work unless I make this range include now my ENM code. If I do that and click OK. Now, instead of 91, I've only got eight records who are people from North Carolina with a 99215 code or from Atlanta who are over age 80. And all, all you need to do is keep the rows and the columns uh, constant in there so you know what you're looking at. You can add as many more rows as you want. You can add this is true, or this is true, or these are true, or that is true. You can go all the way down with as many row-based filters as you want. Everything that's on the same row has to be AND. These all have to be true. If you're on a different row, then it's an OR. These have to be true. That's the way advanced filters work in Excel 2007. Again, for the most part, the drop-down filters are going to work for you. But when you want to do something complicated and have this and this or that and that or that and that, these advanced filters are the way to go. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.